Hi viewers, welcome to Element Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use ABC to dig you not and ABC to alpha beta zero transformation and also we are going to discuss about inverse transformation. So Park and Clark transformation as well as inverse Park and Clark transformation in some link. Thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe your channel and also click bell icon. For notification about upcoming videos, let's start with the implementation of ABC to DQ0 and ABC to alpha beta 0 sequence transformation. So, for that, go to MATLAB and click some link and then click block model. So, here first you got to take three phase source. and then you take three phase VA measurement and then you take three phase RLC load so just you would connect so here we are going to that mean for we are going to apply the DFC to TQ0 and ABC to alpha, beta and inverse. So for that term, power circuit only. Okay. So for that I am going to use this one and then I am going to change the voltage equal to 400. And then I am going to, here I am going to change the voltage is equal to 400. Okay. So next I am going to take abc to dq not transmission block so here you can see that it need a three phase uh, source signal okay and also omega t so omega t nothing but uh, amp signal with respect to change in angular moment right that mean uh, we need to provide that uh, variation of uh, phase angle with respect to time that's all my t so that can be generated by means of PLL so just you to type PLL 3 phase just you to use the PLL 3 phase and then this ABC is connected with the voltage source ok so for that uh, voltage that mean uh, this voltage source we are going to convert that ABC ABC quantity and DQ0 quantity ok the previous quantity is converted into DQ0 as well as the previous quantity is converted into alpha beta 0 so same signal is given to both ABC to do DQ0 and ABC to do alpha beta 0 so next I am going to use scope into so here I am going to measure for quantity that means for details so I am going to use four layouts so I am going to change the style of the scope so first one used for measuring the actual ABC quantity and second one used to for measuring the, the output of ABC to DQ0 transformation and this one used to for ABC to alpha beta not transformation and then this is used to for measuring the omega t changing phase angle with respect to time and here we need to provide another thing I think but power GI so then only this model will be work so I am going to use this one and then go to configuration property and then additional parameter here I'm going to use the maximum step size equal to 1 e per minus 5 and then here I'm going to use forward step equal to 20 lakhs okay 
and I'm going to save this model. Now I'm going to simulate this model. Model simulating, okay. So I'm going to change the time because we are using 60 gates frequency. So I'm going to use 0 0.1 second, right? Better, I'm going to change the frequency to 50 hertz, and also here I'm going to change frequency is 50 hertz, and then you can change the frequency here. The initial input frequency is 50, okay. The PLL also. So now I'm going to simulate, simulate this one. So now you can see that. So this is our input three phase input a b c form and here you can see that this is a dq naught okay so i'm going to change the configuration so a b is the and this is dq naught and this is alpha beta zero and this is omega t the angle of phase angle variation with respect to time so here you can see that the way this is uh, our input sinusoidal three phase sinusoidal input so when we convert the a b c d q naught so we are getting the dc line right i mean uh, this is a D quantity so it, it will be provide the detail about that uh, peak amplitude okay here you can see that so this peak amplitude is the output in the D quantity so the remaining Q and 0 will be 0 okay it will maybe be 0 and then when is converted into alpha beta 0 so the zero quantity is maintained at zero, but we can see that alpha, beta, so both are having nearly 90 degrees phase shift. Okay. So when converting to from A B C to do alpha beta, okay, and alpha beta having the phase shifting between phase shifting between alpha beta will be 90 degree. So this is a variation of uh, that phase angle with respect to time. So this is a conversion of a b c to d q naught and alpha beta zero. So we can use this concept for controlling uh, some system like when you go for controlling of uh, induction motor. So we can use this concept. So when you convert this a b c to d q naught and alpha beta, then the controlling very very easy. Okay. So that's why we go for a b c to d q naught and uh, alpha beta zero convert transformation. The next process next how we can convert this same uh, after converting this one right so we need to convert again to abc so here i'm going to use dg naught to abc and then alpha alpha beta to abc so i'm going to use so dq naught and then it is omega t here here i'm going to use alpha beta beta naught and abc so again we have to convert dq naught into abc and alpha beta to abc so after this inverse transformation right so we need to get the same input like abc right so we need to check that things so first input I'm going to take and see ABC this input. So this output from the DQ naught to ABC. So this is output from the alpha beta naught to ABC and this is omega T. So ABC this is uh, DQ naught to ABC. So this is alpha to 
a b c and omega t so now we check this output now you can see that so this is the original inputs a b c from that uh, power system after that we convert into here you can see here right uh, we are converted into a b c to d q naught and d q naught is converted to a b c by means of inverse power transformation so finally we will get the original a b c quantity so here you can say this is a b c to the alpha beta 0 conversion clock transformation again that the inverse clock transformation apply applied here so again we are getting the actual a b c quantity by means of inverse clock transformation okay so this is the working of uh, a b c d q naught and uh, a b c due to alpha beta 0 as well as d q naught to a b c and alpha beta 0 to a b c so the a b c due to d q naught nothing but path transformation and a b c due to alpha beta 0 nothing but uh, clock transformation so here d q naught to a b c nothing but the inverse path and alpha beta 0 to a b is nothing but the inverse clock transformation so this is the working of this power transformation clock transformation matlab thanks for watching our videos so kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and turn on the notification button for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye